Number 148 in Indicator series is No Orchids for Miss Blandish from 1948. This noir movie, it was a real genuine surprise. Another one of these films that I knew literally nothing about um, and I just threw it on. And at the start of this movie, uh, you have this well-to-do woman, Miss Blandish, who's uh, the daughter of a wealthy businessman, and she receives an orchid at her door. And we follow this through the various uh, servants as it makes her way up to her, wondering what she's going to do, and ultimately she sends it back after reading the note saying, no orchids, thank you. And uh, we see her... Um, being kidnapped by a trio of hoods who decide to take her, steal her jewels and blackmail uh, her father for her safe return. And these guys are a little bit edgy. They're not really high up on the criminal food chain. They've kind of, uh, cr you know, crossing people doing this job. And that's when they get uh, into the crosshairs of Slim Grissom, the Grissom gang. These kind of criminals that are running this town and they know exactly where they've hid up or hiding out. So they go and uh, kill the three people that are there and take the women back to their um, nightclub that they own with the kind of hotel above it as well. And when we're there, we kind of find out and discuss uh, the fact that Miss Blandish, uh, the orchid she re received at the start, was sent to her by Slim. You know, he owns a flower shop and he's been sending her flowers, obviously some kind of attraction to her. And these two have a moment. You know, he tells her that she can go, she's free, um, take her jewels, leave, nothing's going to happen. And she decides that there's something about this character that she really kind of likes. And we have these two people on opposite sides of the tracks. We've got uh, Miss Blandish, who is a, a rich heiress, and we have Slim Grissom, who is um, a, a head of an ob, uh, a kind of mob. And both of these people are deeply unhappy with their lives, and they are going to connect and try to figure out a way where they can escape their fates and maybe have some fun in, in life together uh, different from everything that's already set out for them you know it was really weird it kind of kept going in different directions and i didn't know where it was going to land and one of the most shocking things about this is the violence uh, that's in it you know it's, it's quite it's quite horrifying when it comes. There's, there's sexually aggressive overtones as well. Uh, there's a moment where one of our main character is about to be raped at the start of it and it doesn't pull any punches. It doesn't uh, hint at the fact it, it's flat out pointing you in this direction. These are horrible people doing horrible things and it doesn't go away from it. A lot of the characters feel dangerous and nasty when you're watching it. It's such a weird production, feeling like a gangster movie, feeling like a, a crime-driven plot, but ultimately having a really strong love story at the heart of it with these two characters connecting. And you've got all this wealth of supporting characters throughout uh, the story that's great. His mother, who thinks that she runs the gang but is really a puppet for Slim. We've got the gang members who all want to just kill Miss Blandish. We've got her father, who's working with the police and private detectives to try and save her. It just, it's, it's got all these moving parts. Let's not forget the, the symmetry D of the club, who is so funny um, whenever he's interacting with these uh, this couple in love. Uh, and it just, it kept surprising me all the way through it. It kept surprising me with the violence, with the storyline, with the romance, with the way these characters were acting and how they suddenly found each other and decided to, to you know, just go screw the future, screw the fate that we've been uh, told is going to happen to us. We're going to create our own. I kind of like that and it, again, I wanted uh, this couple to end up happy together. I wanted them to escape all the trouble that was round about them and it was just such a a really interesting film that I, I just can't believe I hadn't heard of before because it feels as if it's it's got so much to offer it feels as if it's got so much to really check out again on a rewatch that I'm just going to dig and just love so much more 
Uh, the performances were wonderful. Set design is great, considering it was made in England and it's supposed to be New York. It looks wonderful. I didn't know that until after the fact. Just such a great, endearing movie that just won me over. Very different to a lot of other movies from the time. Well worth checking out. I, I think I think you're going to love it. If you're into noir, this is something that's very different, but very, very entertaining. Highly recommended. I'd love to know your thoughts on No Orchids for Miss Blandish. Let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.